to the channel. Today I want to show you how we can automate a Google Sheet calculation using Amazon Alexa and a third party application called Wayscript. Wayscript is an application created by a startup company in Brooklyn, New York. What it does is allow us to drag modules to call APIs of different services into a workflow. We can put these modules together to make some pretty cool projects and this is what we'll use for this video. Wayscript and I partnered together to make this video and they're offering it to all the viewers of my channel absolutely free. Just go to the description and click the link to request your key. With that being said, let's go ahead and automate a Google Sheet report using Amazon Alexa and Wayscript. Let's get started. Here in my Google Drive, I have a Google Sheet called Shift Report. We'll open this up. My data in my Google Sheet contains a line number, the operators working on those lines, the products that those operators make, how much of those products, and how long, and what shift they do it on. Let's say that we wanted to ask Alexa to do the calculation to figure out how many of the A products that we've made. Wayscript makes this easy for us because we don't have to worry about any of the APIs and we can just integrate our Python code directly into the workflow. We'll jump over to Wayscript. Once you log in, this will be the page that you have. Just go to the link in the description and get your key if you want to follow along completely. But for now, assuming that you have this, let's say build from scratch and let's call our workflow Google Sheet Automation. We'll create. Now the way this works is we need to create some type of event to happen to trigger a workflow. We can do this by clicking the add trigger button. We have a lot of different triggers to choose from, such as automating this to happen at a certain time of the day, emails, or in our case, using Amazon Alexa. We'll click Alexa trigger, and then we need to create a program alias. This will be what we tell Alexa to do whenever we want her to run this workflow. We'll activate the trigger and say on. Let's make this program alias Google report. Now we'll click off this. We'll go over to the side and select the Google Sheet module and drag it onto the workflow. The first time you do this, you'll have to authorize your Google Drive. I've already done that. So now I'll go down and click choose file to read and put in shift report. We can also select the worksheet that we want, but since we want first shift, we'll leave it on that. And now if we want to use these columns of our worksheet, we need to specify a variable on these assigned column names. Since we only need products, we'll say product and then we need the amounts as well, so we'll say amount. What this does is creates two variables that we can reference later on. And then lastly, let's go ahead and click ignore headers. We'll click back, and now we'll drag over the Python module to do these calculations. Once here, we can just type our Python code into this blank. It's kind of small, so I'll do it on a text editor and then copy and paste it over. Wayscript already has a bunch of packages installed, so we can just type a Python script the same way that we would if it was our desktop. We can say, import pandas as pd and wayscript already has this so we don't have to worry about installing anything this is an awesome feature if you're working in a team and not everyone knows how to work with python and now to work with those variables that we declared from the previous module we need to go down and say product so this is a new variable is equal to the inputs that are coming from that google sheets module and then we'll say product because that's what we named it on our google sheet application now we'll say amount is equal to the same thing, inputs, and then we name that one amount. Now, just in case that our Google Sheet values for the amount are read in as any other data type other than an integer, let's go ahead and make those all integers manually. We can do this by saying amount is equal to square brackets, integer a for a in amount. So for every value and the amount list created as an integer and then reassign that to the amount variable. Let's go ahead and manually create a data frame. So we'll say data is equal to curly brackets, product will be equal to the values in the product, and amount will be equal to the values in the amount. So we have two headings, and we have two lists of values for the values of those headings. Now we'll say the data frame will be equal to PD, and then data frame, and we'll pass in that data. And now all we need to do is the calculation that we want. We said that we wanted to sum up all the A products in our spreadsheet. We'll say A total will be equal to the data frame and select a certain subset of that data frame using LOC, we'll put square brackets. And then the data frame that we want is where the data frame product is equal to A. Where this value is equal, we want to pull out the amount. So we'll use square brackets right here, amount, and then we want to sum up along this amount. So all we're doing is a selection of where the product is equal to A, and then we're pulling out the amount column and summing it up. Now to output this from the Python module in Wayscript, we need to drop down and say outputs, 
square brackets, we'll put that a total variable is equal to a total. We'll go ahead and select all of this, copy it, and move it over to the WayScript application. If we wanted to make sure that it works within WayScript, all we would need to do is to go up and type print a total. I'll run this using this purple button right here, and it may be hard to see, so I'll zoom in a little, but our output of this Python script is 142. So that means that we made a total of 142 of the A products from our Google spreadsheet. But now anytime that that Google spreadsheet is changed with the number of A products, we could just ask Amazon Alexa to do the new calculation and give us a new result. But to get her to speak that result back to us, we need another Amazon Alexa module. So we'll click off of this, we'll zoom back out, and then we'll select Amazon Alexa and drag it over to the add a new step. Now all we need to do is to put in a speech text right here. So let's say there were, and then we can actually pass in variables here to the speech text. So let's pass in the number of A products that we made with that A total variable. We'll select it here. So now we're saying there were 142 A products made yesterday. Once we click off of this, it's automatically saved. And now we just made our workflow with Amazon Alexa. All we need to do now is to test it with mine. So let's go test it out. So now let's test it out. Alexa, launch Wayscript and run Google report. There were 142 of products made yesterday. <sighs> Wayscript is a pretty cool application that allows us to very easily integrate different services into our workflow. Let me know about all the cool things that you managed to build with it. Like I said, they're a startup company right now and looking for new people to test their product. So they're offering it to every one of you right now for free. Just go to the link in the description. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let me know. Until next time.